Hi guys, it's me. So I need to make some envelopes um, to send out a few pieces of Happy Mail. Um, so I'm going to make the first one first and then I'll probably make a video on the other one. But these are just small little mailers. Um, they usually just cost a couple dollars to mail. And um, I really like mailing just little pieces of Happy Mail that have a little bit more than maybe an envelope. But you know aren't too really ridiculously expensive so i'm going to start out with my decoupage glue okay and a brush get one of my glue brushes here All right. okay and i just have some random piece of paper that i got from my stash you just keep a little bag of all my scraps so i'm just going to go ahead and you could even do this with a glue stick um, then you don't have to really wait for it to dry so I'm going to have to film this in a couple parts, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and do it like this. And, you know, it's not going to be anything too crazy. Um, oops. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to stop myself, but, <laughs> but we shall see. So we're going to go ahead and stick this down. Maybe I'll add just a little bit of paint and some stenciling is what I'm thinking, and then we'll color done. And then this is just paper that I kind of scribbled on that I thought might be cool. Um, so we'll put that down too. It's brace paper. And I used um, some watercolors. And, you know, don't worry if it has a lot of text or if your pattern's kind of busy, that's okay. Because um, we're going to put some gesso on this probably and it'll be fine. Alrighty. And then I have this print from Gina's shop. So I think I'm going to use some of that. It's kind of an interesting pattern. And I just look for pieces of paper that look interesting to me. I mean, there's no science to it. I just want to fill it up basically with paper that I like and I'm going to break it up I'm not you know doing a huge amount of one paper I'm just going to kind of break it up a little bit so I'm going to put this maybe here like so oops and you see that the rice paper is a little sensitive so I have to be more tender with that and I go a little crazy with my gluing sometimes so just kind of stick that maybe we can stick it here let's put kind of a bigger piece of this and I really like torn edges and I love collage. It's my favorite. Um, you mostly always see that there's a layer of collage in my work. I love paper. <laughs> I always have it so bad. I keep paper. I use it all the time. So yeah. it's just one of those things. It's like, what can you do when you love something? <laughs> Oops, I dropped something. But I think I caught it in time. Okay. And now I'm going to introduce in a little bit of color. I have this um, piece of um, newspaper that I've been working on for about a week. So, oops, that's probably too much glue. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And it's okay if it goes over the sides a little bit um, because we can glue it back. But what I should be doing is working on a sticky mat <laughs> on a proof surface because I'm going a little crazy with the glue here. And I don't want it to stick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stick this little piece down too. And I think I need a little bit of text over here in this area. So we're going to go ahead and Pick that up, bring it over. Just 
this in the back. It's moving up. Maybe a piece. Where else should I put a piece? And I need to not think about it. I think sometimes that holds us back, doesn't it? Like, where does this go? Where should I put this? And it's like, you know what? Just put it down. That's what I tell myself. Just commit and put it down. <laughs> okay. I do kind of want to make sure that every little piece has a little piece of paper in it. Or has a little bit of the pattern of the paper that I'm putting down. Alrighty. So guys, I'm just going to repeat this same process in the back. Um, if you wanted to, you could just paint the back, and sometimes I just paint one side of, of my envelopes. But for this one, I'm going to do both sides. And I won't do that on camera, so this video will not be very, very long. <laughs> I know some of you guys don't mind that, but yeah, sometimes you have stuff to do. So there we go. All right, and I will be back with part two, so probably going to just stick that little piece there. I'll let this dry first, and then... And I actually like my scribbly writing on that. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> and you know, you don't want to add too much bulk. Um, because you are paying for the paper that you put on top of it. So kind of keep that in mind. But this is a little special, so I don't mind paying a few extra pennies. Hopefully it's not more than that. <laughs> for, to send something nice to someone. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stick that down too. Just like that. Okay, so that is it. If, you know, if there's a little bit of yellow showing, I'm not really worried about that because I'm going to add paint and gesso, so it's fine. But that's how it looks so far. Alrighty, and we'll just flip it over and do the back. I'll do that off camera, and then I'll come back and we'll do the next step. Hi, guys. So, actually, I love this envelope the way that it is, so I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. I thought about maybe doing some stenciling, like really making it really interesting, but I really love just how the papers and everything come together with the little scribble um, that I need on that paper. And I just love it, actually. I think that it's perfectly ready to be mailed. Um, I print out my addresses on my computer because I have horrible handwriting and no one would be able to read it. So I'm just going to print them out and I'll put them up. I'll put my return label here and then the address label here for the person that I'm sending it to. I do have these little butterflies that might be kind of cute, but I don't want to overdo it. I think it's good there. So I'm going to just leave it there. It's just a bunch of scraps that I had on my desk, um, but I kind of picked the color scheme of um, the things that I wanted to use, and I just really love the way it turned out, and it didn't take that long. And you could make, you know, a whole bunch of these. Um, this one I will do in another video, and I will make a video that will be... Um, posted the same day as this one about what I put in Happy Meal. Um, and there's actually a little surprise too. So hopefully you'll watch that video. Um, yeah, what I like to put in Happy Meal, some things that you can include, some ideas, what Happy Meal is, that kind of thing. So you guys will see that next time. But I really love this envelope and I know the person that I made this for will love it a lot too. So um, I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. If you didn't want to print out the address from your computer, what you could do is just take gesso or even a sticky note and just block it out so they can read it clearly. You know, like you could just take, you know, a sticky note that coordinates or a piece of paper and just tape it right on there with the and write the address and then do a return label too. But really fun, very, very easy. So I hope you guys will do that. These are 60 four cents at Walmart. Um, so I like to get them. They're a good size and they're not too expensive to mail, as I said. So yeah, super cute. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.